the Flora Lewis uh, internship endowed by Pierre F. Simone Charitable Trust. Winning is Elizabeth Miles of Yale, who wrote about how the deaths of Franco, Generalissimo Franco, his, uh, his opponents, the, dating back to 1948, are still controversial in today's Spain. The, the disasperado, is that? And so she had a deep uh, set, a sense of the European reality as Flora Lewis did and as Jackie Simone does. She's headed for the Reuters Bureau in Brussels. Presenting is Jackie Albert Simone, who created this award. So, <clears throat> I, every year, as you know, I do a Flora Lewis story. Uh, this one is, takes place in the early 70s. I was at a dinner party for Flora, who was the Paris bureau chief and was in New York. It was a New York Times dinner with some, and I'm quoting, very important people. I was sitting next to one of those very important persons. And in my burst of enthusiasm, I said, oh, I love Flora. She is one of the great journalists of this period. The very important person looked at me and said, great woman's journalist. OK. Outraged, I told Flora. She laughed. And then she became serious as she was herself designated mentor for me. And she said, listen to me. <clears throat> don't ever use that word great. <laughs> we don't need adjectives. This is a good journalist. <clears throat> you put one word in front of another. You tell an honest story, forthright, that can be verified. That is a good journalist. You enhance somebody else's story with facts that can be verified. You illuminate another person's story and clarify it for the reader. <clears throat> that is a good journalist. OK, let's have a drink. <laughs> That's Flora. Elizabeth Miles deserves Flora Lewis's award. I've read her stuff, I've listened to her. We both agreed opportunities are there when you work hard and you are give honest, verifiable facts. Elizabeth. Good afternoon. Uh, my summer of reporting last year, which was the first time I'd written from abroad, started with seeing a wall of plexiglass boxes in a museum in Lima that were full of photos and scraps of clothing, and most of them were empty. And what this is is the relics of los desaparecidos, or the disappeared, uh, who are victims of Peru's civil conflict. And that led me, months later, to a four-hour road trip um, based on a casual conversation to a funeral where I had not met the people who were being buried, and no one had met the people being buried because they had been shot in 1948. Uh, and it was the remains of a mother and a brother being returned to this woman named Milagros who had really held on for a long time because she wanted that closure, and it was really an extraordinary thing to witness. Um, and that, I really consider it a, a global story because politically motivated disappearances you know, have not ended with world wars or civil conflicts of, of the last decade. They still happen in Mexico, they happen in Syria. Um, but it also was a deeply personal story. This woman whose name was uh, Milagros, that translates to miracles. And that's really what it seemed, it was like witnessing that, watching her rebury uh, the people who were taken from her. Um, and as a young journalist, that story is considered a luxury. Uh, we're constantly told you know, that it's a difficult career, that it's a dying industry, and we're given, frankly, a litany of obstacles as to why we should not go into it. Uh, I really disagree. I disagree more so after this wonderful uh, weekend that we're having. I'm uh, hearing so much about journalism. If you can find a story, you can make a way. Uh, I'm very fortunate to be going to to Brussels, and I've heard about you know putting a business and econ angle on policy issues. I'm very fortunate to be here, and uh, thank you for this opportunity.